This video will illustrate a single ejection supraclavicular brachial plexus block using a corner pocket technique. We start by piercing the sheath at the lateral edge of the plexus. The needle is advanced with gentle probing motions together with hydrodissection, aiming to get to the corner pocket between the artery, the first rib, and the inferior trunk. It can be difficult to visualize the needle tip clearly as well as the surrounding structures due to the angle of insonation. Unfortunately, changing of the angle is sometimes hampered by the presence of the first rib. If the needle tip is poorly visible, use seesawing motions to create motion at the actual tip that will help locate it. Hydrolocation by injecting local anesthetic will also confirm needle tip position. And here we can see local anesthetic starting to lift the inferior trunk of the first rib. Two thirds of the total volume of local anesthetic is generally deposited here. A multiple injection technique is recommended. Withdraw the needle to inject further local anesthetic between the superior and middle trunks. This will ensure adequate spread to all elements of the brachial plexus. Once again, use gentle probing motions and hydrodissection to safely advance the needle between the trunks and minimize any risk of mechanical trauma. Take advantage of the injected fluid jet to create a path for the needle. And if adequate spread is obtained with the fluid jet alone, there may be no need to actually advance the needle any further. Always finish by doing a post-survey scan to assess adequacy of local anesthetic spread around all elements of the plexus, and also to train your eye for future pattern recognition in more difficult subjects.